The government's drive for digital transactions, as well as the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, compelled everyone to make the transition to digital payments because of its speed, contactlessness, and ease of use. Even though there are a number of other methods to make a digital payment, the Unified Payments Interface, often known as UPI, is currently one of the most common methods used in our nation. Payments that are based on the UPI can be made using a variety of platforms, some of which include Google Pay, PhonePay, Paytm, and others. However, in order to complete a transaction, each of these platforms requires that you have an active internet connection. Making a transaction becomes a laborious and time-consuming task if you ever find yourself in a circumstance in which your internet connection is spotty at best or non-existent altogether. In order to aid users in these kinds of predicaments, the National Payments Commission of India NPCI, has developed a new UPI service that goes by the name UPI Lite. Now, in case you are curious about UPI Lite, here is an explanation of what it is and how it operates. UPI Lite is a user-friendly platform that will enable customers to use digital payments without the availability of the internet. As UPI payments have become a part and parcel of digital payments in India lately, the next key thing that is geared to strengthen the digital payments ecosystem is UPI Lite. National Payment Corporation of India NPCI, intends to shift small value transactions from online to offline. This will be known as UPI Lite on device wallet. As of now, there is no specific date for the launch of UPI Lite. NPCI said in a statement that a pilot will be launched with multiple banks and app providers. Once due comfort is attained, the full-fledged commercial launch will follow. Unlike UPI 1 to 3 Pay, UPI Lite will enable QR code-based payments too in an offline mode. In fact, UPI 1 to 3 Pay is essentially an interactive voice response or IVR-based technology with app-based functionality as well. With UPI Lite, customers will have the option to scan any QR code and make the payment without internet access. This, in fact, makes sense because 75% of the total volume of retail transactions in India are below 100 rupee transaction value. Also, nearly half of the total UPI transactions have a transaction value of up to 200 rupees. No wonder then the offline transactions on UPI Lite will be allowed for up to 200 rupees. This will be introduced into phases. In the first phase, UPI Lite will process transactions in offline mode where debit will be offline and credit will be online. Later, UPI Lite will allow transactions in completely offline mode, which means both debit and credit offline. To be able to use it, user can download any UPI app. Following this, user can activate UPI Lite called on device wallet. Once enabled, users can straightaway transfer funds from their bank account to UPI Lite. It is noteworthy that although payments are possible in an offline mode, you would need internet connectivity to replenish funds using an additional factor authentication AFA, or through UPI Autopay, which needs to be registered online using an AFA. Once UPI Lite becomes operational, there will likely be a reduced traffic on the payments platform. This means there will be an increased availability of core banking system for big-ticket payments through NEFT and RTGS. Ooh.